Lesson 6.3a, using tables to compare ratios. We can use tables to compare ratios by writing equivalent ratios. The ratio 2 to 5 compared to the ratio 1 to 3 is the same as 2 fifths compared to 1 third. Remember, we can write a ratio like this with a colon, and when we see the colon, we read 2, 2, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, and we can write them as a fraction, 2 to 5, 1 to 3. We make a table for 2 to 5, that ratio, with the 2 on the top and the 5 on the bottom, and we multiply each of the terms by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. Then we multiply it by 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 5 times 3 is 15. We multiply them by 4, we get 8 over 20. We multiply them by 5, we get 10 over 25. And by 6, we get 12 over 30. We do the same thing for the ratio 1 to 3. 1 to 3. We multiply them by 2, we get a 2 and a 6. We multiply them by 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. We multiply them by 4, we get a 4 and a 12. We multiply them by 5, we get a 5 and a 15. And if we multiply them by 6, we get a 6 and an 18. And if you look, we have the same denominator here. If you were to look at this as a fraction of 6 fifteenths, you can look at this as 5 fifteenths. So just like we can compare fractions with the same denominator, we've got 6 fifteenths is greater than 5 fifteenths. We compared fractions back in video 3.3, rational numbers, and I'll link that in the description if you missed it. So we can look at this as 2 fifths is greater than 1 third. The ratio 2 to 5 is greater than the ratio 1 to 3. And since we can write ratios as fractions like this, we can compare them by giving them the same denominator and if we have 6 parts out of 15 parts compared to 5 parts out of 15 parts, we know 6 is greater. 6 fifteenths is greater than 5 fifteenths. Bob used 3 cups of pineapple juice and 4 cups of orange juice to make a fruit juice mixture. Dave used 5 cups of pineapple and 6 cups of orange for his juice mixture. Did Bob and Dave use the same ratio of pineapple to orange juice? And if not, who used the greater ratio of pineapple to orange? We think we can make a table to compare the ratios. So Bob is 3 pineapple, 4 orange, and Dave is 5 pineapple, 6 orange. We make our table for Bob. He used 3 cups of pineapple to 4 cups of orange. If we multiply it by 2, we have a 6 and an 8. If we multiply them by 3, we have a 9 and a 12. And we multiply by 4 and by 5. We do the same thing for Dave. He had 5 cups pineapple and 6 cups orange. We multiply them by 2, we get a 10 and a 12. By 3 and by 4 and by 5, we find two columns. Here's a column and here's a column. There's one in each table in which the amount of orange juice is the same. So here's 12 cups of orange juice, and here's 12 cups of orange juice. You can look at it like they're common denominators, 9 twelfths, 10 twelfths. Dave used more pineapple juice with the same amount of orange juice. He used 10 cups, and he used 9. So Bob is 9 twelfths, Dave is 10 twelfths. Bob was 3 fourths, Dave was 5 sixths. Since 9 twelfths is less than 10 twelfths, 3 fourths is less than 5 6. The ratio 3 to 4 for Bob is less than the ratio 5 to 6 for Dave. They didn't use the same ratio of pineapple to orange juice. Look, Dave's got 10, he's only got 9. Dave used more pineapple juice. So he used a greater ratio of pineapple to orange for his mixture. If each person, Bob and Dave, poured themselves one cup of the juice they made, how much pineapple juice is in each person's cup? So we think,
Bob used three cups pineapple to four cups orange for a total of seven cups. One cup of Bob's juice mix is three pineapple out of seven. It's three sevenths pineapple juice. Dave used five cups pineapple to six cups orange for a total of 11 cups of mixed juice. One cup of Dave's juice mix is five pineapple to 11 in all. It's five elevenths pineapple juice. So we're comparing a part to a whole. We're comparing the pineapple to the whole amount. Three cups plus four cups is seven cups. Five cups plus six cups is 11 cups. Five out of the 11 cups is pineapple. So it's five elevenths. We're comparing a part to a whole. So if you saw lesson 6.1a, which I will link in the description if you missed it, we learned that a ratio can compare a part to a part, like pineapple to orange. It can compare a part to a whole, like pineapple to all of the juice, or a whole, like all of the juice, to a part, like all of the juice compared to orange juice. So we finished this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, comparing ratios. Instead of comparing ratios using a table, we're going to use multiplication and division. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.